In this guide, we are going to work with HTML and we're going to see how Ruby can do some a little bit more advanced string interpolation. So what our goal is, is to be able to dynamically generate HTML and slide in a custom title. If you work with Rails, you know that during the Rails generation process, this is something that it does. So I thought this would be a fun exercise. So what we want to do is have a method called HTML generator that takes in one argument and then inside of that content or inside of what that generates, there should be a string inside that matches the string that gets passed into it. So I, in the comments above everything here, I place the boilerplate HTML and so you can come here and uncomment all of this and then come and paste it down inside of the method. Now there's a little trick that you could do because you may be thinking how can I put all of that content into just a regular variable. And there's a few ways to do that in Ruby, but what I wanna walk through is how to use what's called the here doc syntax. And that's how you can have a multi-line string, either variable or in this case, just object inside of a method that you can work with and you can integrate some string interpolation with. And the syntax I'm going to use is you come down right above where the content is. So we have all of our HTML, but as you can see right now, it's being parsed like it's Ruby code, and so obviously this would not work. What we want to do is integrate the here doc. Now the here doc syntax is going to be two angle brackets followed by any word that you want that is all caps, or I should say that's kind of the convention. So a lot of people you'll see using code like EOS, which would be like end of string. For ours, I'm just gonna do HTML. And then coming down to the end of the method, we'd have to type in the same thing. Now notice with our syntax highlighting right here, what this is doing. It notices right away that this item right here, where we have our two angle brackets, that is matching to this. So this is, you could think of as the beginning of the string, and then this is the end. And this is called a here doc in Ruby, and it's a very clean way of being able to have all of your string code, even if it's multi-line string, all inside of a single container. Now you could do something like this, where you could say my variable and set it equal to that, but we don't really need to do that because all we need to do is have our method returning a string. So we can keep it exactly like we have right here. Now you may be wondering, because this is a string, but it has this different syntax, how exactly can we use string interpolation? And so in other words, our whole purpose here is to be able to generate a, not just HTML code, but HTML code that takes in a title. Now right here, inside of the HTML title, I put our little placeholder. And the way that we can accomplish this one is I'm going to delete that and just use regular string interpolation. So I'm gonna do the hash symbol followed by the curly brackets followed by any Ruby that I wanna parse inside of it. In this case, it's going to take the just our argument of title right here, and then it's gonna take it and slide it into the title brackets. Now we can test this out on the very bottom. So I can say HTML generator pass in my site. And now if I run this, You'll see right here that this generates, it's not in a pretty format, but it generates a string. And if you look all the way down, you can see that it takes everything in, including the title, and it passes in my site. So all of this is working. So let me come here, delete our test code, and let's run our real test, our RSpec tests. This is January 2nd exercise running that and it all works. Now before I end, I wanna point something out. 
you may notice that I'm using some kind of weird indentation here. And this is one of the odd things with how Ruby parses here docs is that if we try to do something like our normal indentation, you know that if we have a method, usually it looks something like this, where it's def, some method, and then you have indentation just like this, where you have two spaces uh, in between. So it kind of designates where it is. So usually you have these two spaces right here. There is a little bit of a problem with this if we were to try to do this with a here doc. A here doc is one of the rare times where indentation, or I should say a lack of it, is actually important. So right here, if we were to try to do something like this, where we indent it first. Notice that this threw off all of our, our colors here, which usually that's a bad sign whenever something like that happens with your syntax highlighting. But now watch what happens if we try to run the tests in this file. Now you get all kinds of errors and everything blew up. And so that's something that's very important to know with here docs is whenever you declare them, they have to be slammed all the way to the left. And this is due to how Ruby parses the file. So that's just something, even if it's in a method, in a class, anything like that, if you're declaring a here doc, it has to look exactly like this. So everything is good on this side. We have one example that is passing, no failures. Oh, I think we have to save the file. There we go. There we go. One example, no failures. So everything is now passing and you now know how to create a HTML generator using the Ruby here doc syntax.